Welcome, planet. Here we are, Wednesday, moving along, August 5th, 2009. Holistic Sports Coaching. The mind, body, and spirit for the athlete and artist. Sports, movies, and other things today. The word stretch. I want to read this. Not that you don't know what the word stretch is, but I'm going to read it anyway because this is the most important thing for you dancers out there in sports and dancing. Of something soft or elastic to be able to be made longer or wider without tearing or breaking. Pull something tightly from one point to another. Extend your body, 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 or a part of your body to its full length. The magic word is stretch under your breath release. You can close your eyes, by the way, or if you feel insecure about it, then open the lids. Feel the fingers. Feel the toes. Stretch. I do it. You can do it. Well, it won't be too long before Michael Vick gets on some team. The Packers yesterday said, well, we may be considering it. Nobody wanted to be the first, but guess what? I would bet soon that he's going to be with somebody. Won't that be fun? Remember, he paid his dues. Movies today. Two football movies. One really good documentary called Brand New, 2008 really, when it was released. Harvard Beats Yale, 29-29, directed by Kevin Rafferty. This is about camaraderie. This is about an amazing game. Well, it's not the NFL, and it's the Ivy League. It doesn't matter. It's a spirit of football. This was really fun. It's amazing about it ain't over till it's over till it's really over till the fat lady does a dance. This is a fun movie. Another football movie, highly recommended, one of the best ever made. Dallas, North Dallas 40. North Dallas 40 from 1979 starring Nick Nolte. Really great football movie shows the inner workings and the games that are being played from the front office. I highly recommend it to you. You can get it off your Netflix. The Harvard Beach Yale 2929 can be downloaded off your PC, your personal computer. Streaming. Streaming. Other things today. The most important thing today. Parents. Please do not medicate your children. Please do not do it unless you get at least four or five different opinions. There's this great documentary from PBS, which you can also get on your PC from the great program Frontline. Frontline from 2008, I believe April 9th. It's called The Medicated child the medicated child this is must viewing please someone make a copy pass it around to all you parents who have kids there's two important episodes to point out one this poor little four-year-old was diagnosed i think irresponsibly and by the way do not believe pediatricians or teachers who recommend medicating your child because your two, three, four-year-old is a little rambunctious. We're all rambunctious at two, three, four years old. Our nervous system, our energy source, our electrical system, nervous system, to brain, of course, it's new, it's beginning, it's a little out of control. 
do not believe these people. I am not a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. Please consult so many websites and opinions, nutritionists, before you even consider chemicalizing your child. The, ner the body at a young child cannot handle these pharmaceuticals. One family was feeding their four-year-old corn dogs. The poor kid was uh, sure he was eating because his nervous system was so fired up. Corn dogs and chemicalized died died, D-Y-E-D, died, sodas. No, absolutely not. Remember, Frontline, PBS, the medicated child, must viewing, pass it around in the neighborhood, recommend it to every family that you know that's got kids. One of the kids, the poor thing, was on medication all its life, and at 16, had a belly on him that we don't see hardly in middle-aged men. The poor kid had neck and twitching and and it. I wanted to go through the screen and scream and yell. I wanted to do it. Well, my rant is over and have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of someone else and adopt a kitty. Bye-bye.